Welcome back to Sticks Tricks. I'm Sticks. We're in the shed on a very cold New England day, which is very fitting because I'm going to show you how to install these awesome Hippo Hands Rogue hand guards. These are designed to keep your hands warm and dry in inclement weather. You know, keep them out of the rain, out of the snow, out of the wind. So especially if you have uh, heated grips, uh, these are really a lifesaver. I'm eager to try them out. I haven't tried them yet, but this video will show what you get out of the package, how to install them, some of my initial thoughts on them, and maybe down the line I'll do a follow-up video on the durability and just how they've been. I'm a crazy New Englander. The person you'll see, you know, riding their bike through the middle of winter to commute to work and just have fun. So that's why I'm eager to try these because these are, it's kind of what these are designed for. So in this video applies to any motorcycle with hand guards. That's the only requirement you have to have uh, to install these. So this is a Touring 660. This is my bike. I love this bike. I do have a playlist set up. Um, if you're here because of the Touring, I do have a playlist set up. Definitely check it out. Uh, I have videos in there from how to's to just my thoughts on, on living with this so far and, and some, you know, different common problems people talk about that are, that are fixed now. Uh, so definitely give that a, a look. It'll be linked in this video and in the description. Um, but now uh, I'm going to stop talking, or at least I'm going to stop talking in this segment, and I'm going to start showing you how to actually put these on your motorcycle. So a quick mini review on just the quality. I'm very impressed. It's The stitching's all very thick, very nice. The padding and kind of insulation is a lot more kind of thick and robust than I thought it would be. And same thing with like all the areas where the Velcro's sewn in and the straps. Like this stuff I can just tell is gonna last a very long time um, if treated properly. So definitely, you know, no worries of the quality. Um, Cause I know the price, these were like 160 bucks uh, retail. So, uh, you know, I, I definitely want to make sure they're good. They're good value for the for the money, and I, I think they are already. Now, taking a look at everything you get with them out of the package, we obviously have the left hand guard and the right hand guard. Uh, you can tell because this cutout up here for the for the mirrors is going to be on top, and you'll see it says Hippo Hands on the side. That writing will be you know the right way the right way up as well. If you read it from the side of the bike, and then. You have these various foam blocks and Velcro straps that come with the bike. So this is part of the kind of the, the digging I had to do to find out exactly what they're used for. So these Velcro straps come wrapped around these little foam blocks. And these you're going to need for the installation, definitely. As well as this little piece that has a sticky back once you remove this film. So take these off of the little foam blocks and then the foam blocks these are for kind of final fitment to dial in the fitment depending on your machine uh, hippo hands they even tell you you can like cut these up and just to dial in the uh, clearances and just how these directly fit on the bike depending on your bike so if I have to use any of these, I, I might make a note of it, but I'm really not going to show you how to use these because this is going to be at your own discretion, depending on what handguard setup you have or what machine you're installing them on. But that's what these are used for. So if you install these and you're like, hey, I don't like that clearance is a little close to my, my throttle grip, then you can cut these and be able to space them out in areas. So I'm going to leave these to the side. So primary installation. Uh, just just prep these and now we're gonna move to the bike and check it out now the installation process uh, This is on a Aprilia Touareg 660, but this applies to really any bike you're trying to put them on Just make sure you have some sort of hand guards because that's what they're designed to fit over So then it doesn't interfere or have a chance of interfering with the controls These are just universal bark busters that honestly don't fit super great on this bike at least how I have them uh, but I am going to be getting the specific ones once they're available, but that's besides the point. First, we have the main Velcro strip. We're going to want to wrap that right here on this outer side. Definitely get this as tight as you can to the bar because then it'll help with it not sliding around as easy and have a more kind of secure fitment. And then a uh, Kind of a weird note too that i figured out the the end of the velcro just try to have that on the outside of the bike 
because what was happening when I was putting the handguard on and off and I had the end of this on the inside, when I was undoing the strap, it kept uh, I kept unwinding this off the off the bark buster. So I found just have this on the outside, the end of it, and it'll save you you know some headaches of this starting to unravel when you take the the whole handguard off. And then when it comes to the little one with the sticky back, this will end up somewhere around here on the, you know, on the wind deflector. I will show you exactly how I ended up having mine, uh, but what you need to do to figure out where to put it, because you definitely don't just want to stick it over here somewhere and have it not line up. And then it's the, the sticky backing is very high quality. It's like kind of even gooey. Uh, so that I was very impressed with. But now uh, on the handguard itself, I'm gonna shine a flashlight in here. If I can turn my flashlight on. And then if we look right where I'm shining it, that sewn in piece of Velcro, that's where it will attach to the little piece you'll put on the, on the wind deflector. So you just need to make sure that lines up as I said. So first thing we're gonna do is this Velcro strap here. That's what will secure onto the one uh, to, to locate it, that will that will secure right onto the handguard. So we're gonna undo that strap so we can slide this over. Make sure you're cut out for the mirrors on the top and make sure this tab slides on the inside of the mirror so it goes in its home, because otherwise it really won't slide on at all. So we slide them on. Do your best to line up the Velcro strap onto the uh, other one. So I'm doing that right now, just wrapping this around that. You kind of want to get it as tight as you can. Not crazy tight, doesn't need to be, but just so it doesn't flap around in there and get in the way of your controls. And then first what we're gonna want to do is just, um, I usually give it a pat towards the back of the bike, like so, so then it butts up against the handguard. And now first we secure these, and then the you can't really see this how I have the camera, but the other side, you're just, this uh, flap, um, you'll see, you'll pull the other flap under the handlebar and then you just secure that onto each other. It's pretty straightforward. Now what you need to do is I, I used a flashlight and I looked in here to see where it would line up to put this little Velcro piece. So mine is already on, so you can see it, uh, when you pat this towards the rear of the bike, it secures onto it, and then it really holds it in this nice position. So now I have plenty of room with the uh, heated grip uh, cable and you know all the other controls. And I put this on quickly for the video. This isn't the final location of kind of how I want it. Uh, so I will cut to a clip in just a minute here showing you the final outcome. But now let me just show you where I ended up putting uh, the sticky Velcro part, just uh, just so you know um, how I did things. Okay, now I've got the camera in hand. We can see what it looks like with this Velcro strap on the Bark Buster. I'm just gonna leave it on there permanently for ease of installation. I mean, maybe once summer hits, I'll just take it off to avoid it getting, you know, dirty if I drop the bike, like off road. But at least for the, for the cold and, and winter months, that's just staying on. Showing you my tripod quick, these are the lengths I went to get a good camera angle. I've got it using the engine, so that's kind of cool. And now this little Velcro piece, I cut mine into two pieces, and that's the locations I ended up with on the Bark Buster. So uh, that I just wanted to show you. Uh, I think it looks pretty clean. It's not too noticeable. And it definitely, on at least on my application, it definitely... Uh, helped with the handguard being very secure and keeping it kind of in the location I wanted it. So now let's take a look at how it looks on the throttle side once I got it fine-tuned and I'll give you some of my thoughts on it as well. And here's the final outcome on the throttle side. I got everything adjusted as I like it. Uh, plenty of room to get your hand in there, plenty of room with the uh, cable for the heated grip throughout the whole range. So I'm very happy, I'm very pleased. They advertise these online as being able to literally slide them on and off in like two seconds. Do I think that's the case? Yes, once you figure them out, I would say it would probably take you like 10 or 15 seconds each side. I did have to kind of fool with this, you know, the initial fitting uh, to get it dialed in. So once you get it figured out, 
I think it's very accurate. These would be very easy to, to put on and off in less than like 30 seconds. So like I said, I'm very happy. I'm very eager to try these out. Now I'm gonna install the other side. I'm not gonna show you the other side because it's the same as this side. And here they are, both of them are installed on my Touareg. These, like I said, are the Hippo Hands Rogue handguards. We can see they already look very warm and inviting. I cannot wait to try these out. From what I read online, a lot of people say with the heated grips and then these handguards, uh, you can use your summer gloves in the middle of winter, which I'm really excited about and I'm hoping is the case. So. Maybe I'll do another video at some point, um, kind of like a follow-up review on how these are holding up in my experience through a New England winter. Also, you're probably wondering what this is. Uh, this is my cup holder. This is a must uh, that might have been a deal breaker for me if I couldn't fit these <laughs> with it. So you can see the fitment might be a little weird right here. Um, it's still very secure. And I'm the crazy New Englander you'll see with the iced coffee on his handlebars and he'll be sipping it in traffic um, or being in a drive through in the middle of winter to get iced coffee. So this, like I said, was a must and I'm glad everything fits. And it looks like it might even keep um, a little wind off my drink as well. So if I decide to get something hot, uh, it might keep it uh, warmer a bit longer. Now I just got off the bike. So let's see, I'm kind of see what they look like from a top angle. Now from the side, this is just in my shed. So obviously, it might be a little better if I had it outside. So they're definitely noticeable. You know, they're they're not maybe streamlined and kind of discreet. But the most important thing is you're still riding your adventure bike. You're still having a blast and you've got warm hands. So you're good on the controls and still a, you know, capable rider and not impaired in any way. And that's really, you know, what the important part is. So with that, thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. I hope it was informative. Please leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss any more exciting content.